Fox is going to be Vanna White today. We bought a Terry Classic 2018 V21 camper. And I think we'll wait till the end to tell them all the changes that we're going to make to it. Good idea, because it's basically the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Come on into our humble abode. We have a beautiful U-shaped couch here with a table that comes up. Super spectacular. Got our 32 inch TV right here. Got a little mini microwave. You can fit some pizza rolls or something in there. So we can't make pizza in here though? No, not as currently constructed. Kitchen is very minimal. As you can see, we've got yes. like one, how many drawers here? Mm. These are full one, two, one, one. Not a lot of room. Not a lot of counter space either. Nope, uh, so you got this little insert over the sink. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, then you come in this long stretch of hallway. <laughs> all three feet of it <laughs> into the bedroom where we have more storage and a bed all the places for all my dresses right oh yeah Ooh, i forgot it has this tilts. a tilty bed how special yeah so if you notice something weird there's a sink here and a sink here and this is the bathroom do you want to show them the bathroom it's spectacular So that gives you an idea how little this thing is. All right, well that was the tour, guys. <laughs> oh, and we also can't both walk down the hallway at the no. same time. And I also can't do much here in this area. Nope. So, as you can see, it's pretty crammed in here. So now, we will tell you all the changes we're going to make. So the exterior changes. Um, first of all, this door is kinda, mm. So we're gonna do like a really cool wooden chevron type of design without adding a whole lot of weight. So we haven't figured out how we're gonna do that yet, but we're gonna do it. And then the paint job is not bad. Like it's kind of cool how this is silver, but it's also plastic. And we just want our place to seem kind of more luxurious looking. So this and up is gonna be white. This and down is gonna be like a shiny dark forest green color and it kind of reminds us of like an old VW bus how they have like the white and then the wraparound windows and then everything else is forest green oh and white wall tires we're gonna have to get some white wall tires so that's it for the outside okay so as far as structural changes, there's quite a bit. So number one thing that I noticed um, sitting in here is that, <laughs> well, first of all, this table's gonna go because it's just taking up too much room in an already tight space. So we'll probably have a little fold down table of some sort that we can prop up if I need to work. Um, when I'm sitting here, I can't see anything other than this bridge, which is not very pretty to begin with. Um, so we're gonna, Knock down this whole fridge and probably just re gut this whole kitchen, honestly. And we're gonna hopefully make like a nice galley kitchen. We'll probably put a mini fridge underneath here, um, some floating shelves, maybe. And we also don't need two sinks. If I can come outside to wash my hands right here, I definitely don't. I mean, there's no point. Um, this wall is also very awkward. I'm like weird about. Uh, curvy walls. I really like straight 90 degree angles. So this is all gonna go. We're gonna tear down this wall. Um, the bathroom's already tiny so it really doesn't matter if it becomes more tiny. I think that uh, the best route here for our bathroom, we're gonna obviously have to move the toilet if we want that wall to be lined up with the entertainment system. So we're gonna make a wet bath in here. So it's just gonna be a long rectangular shower. Our toilet's gonna have to go in the shower and it'll be all tiled and gorgeous. And the bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> this is the awkward part. We have to do a little maneuvering. <laughs> okay, so bedroom. We 
we're gonna have to change a little bit, I think, because I don't like how this is happening. I like everything to be center, and I wish that the bed was a little center so we could put something on that side. It just looks better, I think, but I'm not really sure what to do with this space. What do you think, Al? Al's response would be, keep it as it is. Yep. Mm, I don't know. This will be like the last thing to change. I'm really not too concerned with the bedroom. I'm more concerned just with... Just paint the cabinets. Just paint the cabinets. What about it being a... Do something with the wall. I don't know. That just, doesn't bother me. Do you, you uh, might get rid of this. We don't need this really. And then just build some like in storage here for our phones and whatnot to rest. Potentially. So maybe repeat it on this side. Give it the U-shaped stuff. <laughs> I want to do that because I need to bring the bed out of the hallway. I think the bed's going to have to stay where it is. Otherwise, it's taking over the hallway space. So it's going to have to be pushed to the side. Even though I don't like how it looks um, with this not being on that side, like I like it when it's symmetrical and the bed's in the middle, um, I think I'm just gonna have to, we're gonna have to keep it like this because there's really not a lot of options. Unless we did like a futon thing, maybe we could make it a cuter, bigger living space. I don't know. All right, so I just want to quick share our ideas that we have for like colors and backsplash and things like that. So this is the color of our flooring, which isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Actually, it's not that bad. But for a tiny space, we really want to brighten everything up. Um, I think it'll make the space feel a lot bigger if the floors are brighter. So we're gonna paint the flooring white. And then we got these stencils by Royal Design Studio. And we're going, to, it's going to be like a tribal black and white type pattern. So I think that'll look really cool. Um, this is all going to be gutted. And what we noticed as well is when you're sitting down here, you can't see the beautiful scenery outside because the windows are up pretty high. So we're going to raise everything up about eight inches. Use that for underground storage drawers. Um, so then this will be sitting higher. And then we'll probably do like a... Cognac brown leather, um, maybe some white cabinets. Walls will be white. We'll get a better looking sconce, I think it's called. I'm learning a bunch of language. Um, we might keep this brown or we might make it a modern black with thinner um, trim. We'll see. Obviously, these have got to go. Oh my god. So, this is a cute little place for greenery, succulents, whatnot. So, there's our plans for the living room. I'm like shoved into this corner trying to fit everything in. But the cabinets will be uh, emerald or dark forest green, which I think will look really cool with the black and white tribal flooring. And yeah, I'm excited to see how that looks. The countertops, we're probably gonna do like a warm wood butcher block just to give it that earthy feel. So that concludes our video tour. Um, yeah, we're just really excited to get this renovation going and I hope you stay tuned.